What's going on guys? My name's Timmy Joe making videos about computers on the internet. And today in the program, hard drive backups, you know, stuff like, whoops, little accidents happen. You never know. You accidentally delete all the photos on your SD card, format it before you backed up the files. And did you know it's actually today, World Backup Day. Not even joking. Don't be an April Fool. Back up your data, okay? But if you're not, you know, savvy with this stuff and you maybe haven't been doing your backups like you should, what happens when you accidentally delete the SD card or delete the partition uh, with your family photos and stuff on it? Uh, what can you do? Well, there is software that can help you out. And luckily, today's sponsor is, uh, well, actually the whole video is uh, being sponsored by Wondershare's Recover It Photo Recovery Software. And this is some software that will scan your hard drives for video and photos specifically. So, you know, it's really good for USB keys or, uh, you know, SD cards where you accidentally formatted the card, you know, before taking the full, all your family vacation photos off. Or maybe you have a hard drive that just has pictures and video on it of your family uh, and you accidentally delete the partition. Yes, delete the partition. Well, this software will let you get your files back, or at least what's available, because in case you don't know, the way it works is when you, you know, format or, well, you can do a full format, which actually rewrites the sectors, but when you format or delete files off of a SD card or a hard drive, it uh, just says, hey, you can write over this stuff again. And if you start recording a, you know, a whole bunch of video on your SD card again, it's going to be pretty hard to get the photos that were on there before. But if you accidentally just hit format on this SD card, then and you, know, you, you didn't back up your files, it's probable you'll get most of them back, actually. So go over to Recover Photo Recovery, and uh, there's a download in the description. I want to thank Wondershare's Recover It Software for sponsoring this, this little advertisement for them. And uh, it's on World you know, Backup Day, so keep you in mind. Even if you don't back up, there are ways to get your stuff back. So uh, pricing on it is $39.95 for a year's license of getting unlimited photos and stuff back. And then there's an ultimate version uh, for for fifty nine ninety five, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and we will uh, show you how the software works. So you go ahead and download it, just like you're seeing on the you know the internet, this thing we call the internet here. Get her installed, and uh, this free version will actually let you recover up to ten photos with unlimited size or videos, uh, and it will actually let you preview what you can get back on, you know, from your SD card. So it's cool because you don't have to buy the software, then find out that, you know, your data is not recoverable. You can use the software and see what's on there, and then you can pay for the license if you want to. So we're going to go ahead and select my 64 gig cam SD card, and we see here that it's pretty much empty. So if we select it and go start, it's going to start scanning the drive for all of the photos and videos that I uh, don't have on there. And it's going to take, well, up to five minutes to get them back. But as you can see, they're also uh, dated. So you can make sure you're getting, you know, the right date as long as, you know, your camera was set up, you know, with the right date and stuff like that. You can go ahead and track the files and, you know, photos by date. So we won't run a full scan here because I'm just interested in showing you how the software works. So we'll stop it. But as you can see, some of these aren't going to be, uh, we're not going to be able to recover them. But as you, some have a preview that pop up. You can actually double click them. Oh, it's me building a computer. Oh, isn't that nice? That's a lovely picture. And then you can go over to MP4 and see that it's also got some videos that can recover as well. But uh, you can see the preview there in the top, the ones that actually are recoverable. Oh, there's a nice picture of me making a computer. So we can hit recover and hit recover and find my desktop again. Dude, bench face and desktop and click recover. There we go. Did it recover that photo properly? Well, yes. Yes, it did. So, you know, with this software, you're at least able to check and see what you can get back from this. Now, I'm going to show you a pretty cool trick. Uh, you know, we'll click OK, we'll go back home. Well, what if I deleted a whole partition on this SD, or sorry, this uh, SSD. I deleted a whole partition. 
That sounds pretty scary, like you're never going to get your files back. Well, can't find my partitions, and it lists uh, all my drives there. Well, I know that I lost all my family photos on this Kingston drive, so we're going to hit start. And, uh, oh, lost partitions. There, and family photos is there. Lovely. Okay, so we can scan those you know, th those partitions that are lost. I literally just deleted the partition on here. And I was like, ah, because maybe I had a Windows install and I was trying to install it on a different drive and I ended up clearing this one. There's lots of different scenarios where you might accidentally delete the partition on a hard drive. You, yeah. So, oh goodness, there we go. Lots of stuff's popping up. And oh my goodness, it's my little baby Gibson. There we go, that's my family photos. Well, we can scroll through here and, you know, see. Whoa, there we go. There's the little baby Chunkers when he's three. And wow, this computer's really getting uh, hardcore there for a second. So we see here it's recovering a whack load of JPEGs. And uh, well, I can get my stuff back from my hard drive. Now I can pay to recover more than 10 files. Or maybe you just want some specific file like, uh, oh, there's, you know, mommy and the baby going down the slide, okay? You know, at least you can go through here and you can make sure you can get these files back and it's oh, not able to get that one back. So, um, there, you know, you can make sure that you're gonna be able to recover a lot of the, the files and stuff from this specific hard drive before you buy the software for $39.95 for a one-year license. So, I don't know, I think that's pretty cool. So I do wanna thank uh, you guys for watching here on World Recovery Day, having a little PSA to remind you to back up your hard drives, back up your photos and make sure that, you know, you don't lose the stuff, but, if you do, I want to thank uh, Wondershare's Recover it Photo Recovery Software for sponsoring this video and giving you an option to uh, you know seek out whether you can recover the files off of your SD cards or your you know lost hard drives or whatnot. And uh, you know it's cool that you get to try it out and see what's actually recoverable from the uh, you know the software and then the hard drives. And if it's worth it, you can purchase the software. They actually have. A uh, higher suite of recovery software just called Recover It that does uh, whole hard drives and stuff too. So I'll link everything in the description. I want to thank Wondershare for sponsoring the video here on World Backup Day. And uh, yeah, make sure you back your stuff up because you know you might have to actually end up using this software if you're not smart and you forget to back up here on World Backup Day. Don't be an April Fool, okay? So I'm at Watch Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. Thanks very much to Wondershare and their Recovered Software for sponsoring the video. I will see you guys in some more videos next week. Maybe you notice that uh, I have 780 Ti's and SLI in this PC here. That's what I'm working on next. So uh, should have some fun. Also, uh, first gen Core i7-860 uh, on a P55 motherboard. Finally here on the show next week. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in another video and we'll see you guys later. Don't forget to back up your hard drives.